think I'm gonna just do it. So welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're gonna be doing a quick uh, chain maintenance. So what this is gonna include for me is uh, cleaning the chain up a little bit and just checking and adjusting the actual slack on it. So um, before we jump into it, uh, for the CV1000R, it is listed right here, um, the actual measurements that you need. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a down arrow right here. And that's basically telling you that's where you need to measure from. The slack itself should be between one and three quarter to two inches. So that's how much play. And uh, from the picture, it look like it's in the middle of the chain. That's where the measurement is taken, not the actual uh, top of the chain. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get the actual guard here off of it. That involves removing two bolts from here and two right there. Then we should be able to get in there, uh, start our cleaning and then do our adjustments. So for this job, you are gonna need a couple tools. Not exactly what I have here, but just as long as you have something similar. So uh, definitely you're gonna need the spanner tool. This came with the CB1000R. Uh, if you don't have it, that's something I can drop in the description for you. Gonna need a ruler or something to measure the, the actual distance between the chain. You're gonna need a torque wrench to tighten your bolts back up. You're also gonna need uh, some Allen heads with the 3 8 or half inch. That way you can tighten everything up, up to torque. I believe it's a six millimeter to loosen it, but I'll show you guys when I get there. I also have this digital measuring tool, but I'm um, probably not gonna use it. Uh, seem like a ruler should be enough. Additionally, I have a cleaning kit. I'll link that in the description. I also have some chain um, lubricant, chain cleaner right there. And I have a... a a roller for the wheel. That's if you guys don't have a jack, you could essentially put the bike on top of this. That way you can rotate the actual wheel when you're cleaning it. Also, I did buy a, um, a jack for the CB1000R and that video should be dropping soon. All right, let's get into it. So you're gonna need a 316 Allen key for these two. And then for those two in the back, you are gonna need an eight millimeter socket. Also on this side, we also need to remove uh, this little bolt in there. And the other side, we also need to remove uh, this guy right here. Uh, another Allen key, don't know the exact size, but uh, fumble around, you should find it. Uh, this one is really in between a rock and a hard place. So you're gonna have to use um, something with an angle like this to get to it. All right, so it look like we have these cables in here that we need to remove as well. So let's remove those and then we should be able to take this off. So now we got everything off. Here's a look at the two pinch bolts. So we have one right here and the other one's on the other side. So you're gonna have to maneuver a little bit just to figure out the best way to get these off. You will probably need an extension. You also need a ratchet, of course. And of course, when you tighten it back up, you are gonna need a torque wrench. First thing I wanna do is go ahead and get the chain cleaned up. For me, I am gonna be using a roller just to keep everything on the floor. Uh, but this is pretty straightforward. Um, all you do basically is put the bike on here, the rear wheel. Um, of course, it will need to be in neutral. Um, put the tire on here and you should be able to turn the tire free. And for, that way it's easier for you to clean the chain. So let's go ahead and do that. So this kit is supposed to help just some of the spillage not happen. So um, this is supposed to go into your chain like this. This part adjusts up. And what you do is put this little guy on top. Just like that. So now when you do your spraying, whether it's the greaser or the chain lube, it will go in that bottle instead of going on the floor. So we're gonna test it out and see how it works.
uh, to loosen or get it to a point where we can't adjust it. We got two pinch bolts right here that we need to loosen. So this is gonna require a six millimeter Allen key. Just two of them, you loosen them. Then you can get in here, you can see those notches right here. Those notches is where the actual spanner um, goes in, where you can go ahead and adjust it back and forth just to um, tension your chain. So let's go ahead and we'll start the process. So um, both of these are loose. Let me just double check this last one. All right, so now they're loose. Now we can get in here and we can start um, actually making our adjustments. Very important that this spanner um, extension handle, you can see there's an angle upward and inward. So depending if you're adjusting to tighten or loosen, you can go ahead and um, put it on differently. So just measuring the chain, like I said, it's between one and three quarters to two inches. Uh, this sitting more towards the two inch, so I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit. All right, so when I go this way, you can see the chain becomes loose. And, Go the other way. You see the chain becomes a little tighter. So like I said, this is pretty straightforward. As long as you have the right tools, you should be good to go. All right, so that's, for me, that's a little bit better. That's where I kind of want it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these. Um, so these pinch bowls need to be at 20 foot pounds when you tighten them. Once those are tightened, I am gonna lubricate the chain and we should be good to go. Also very important to note is that if you look on the other side of your bike, uh, there's a chain wear indicator, which means that if it's in the red, that means that its chain needs to be replaced. So the more you adjust it, um, the chain stretches and over time is gonna become where it needs to be replaced. So keep that in mind. You can see mine is still in the green. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it, but there's a notch right there, still in the green. But if it ever gets in the red, uh, your chain needs to be replaced. All right, so for the lube, I am gonna um, just jack it up. It just makes my life a lot easier. You can see uh, chain's clean, it's been adjusted. I uh, removed the, the rear fender. I have the uh, fender eliminator. I'll put the plate on here in a little bit. Just need to lube it and I should be good to go. All right, so again, uh, this should save me some time as far as uh, cleanup. Uh, so this is gonna go right here. This is gonna go on top just to prevent um, spillage. Just angle this guy down, make sure the chain can run freely. All right, and um, we should be able to start spraying. Did his job as far as just keeping everything nice and clean. You can see just a little bit of spillage right there on the floor, but uh, for the most part, this this saved me a lot of um, headache as far as cleanup. So can't complain.